guys, welcome back to Court Hub. And today, I'm going to teach you the song Diary by Brent. Okay, so for this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to uh, play this song without the use of any bar chords, okay? But without compromising the quality of the chords. So before we start, make sure that your guitar is in standard tune. So for your E note, this should be your E or 6th string. 5th string. 6th string. Fourth string, third string, or the G string, and then B string, and then E string. Now for intro guys, we're going to have this. Okay, so we start here at this chord. This is actually a simplified version of the G major 7 the actual G major 7 is like this but for the recording of this song they use this one starting here at the second fret of the first string and third fret of the uh, second string and its bass is the G bass or G string which is the third string the string and the pattern for plucking guys is this one down up down down up okay down for the g note and then up for these two for these uh two strings okay down up down down up okay just like that again down up down down up and then we transfer our hand our fingers here at the uh, G7 sustain 4 Okay, G7 sustain 4 starts here at the first fret of the first string and then sec second string first fret again And its bass is a G it's same with the first chord the G note and This and this uh, the pattern for plucking is still the same for the first part, okay? Okay, again from this chord down, up, down, down, up, and then this one here. Down, up, down, down, up, and we're going to have an additional note, which is this G note and then the D note. Okay, D and then, uh, sorry, G and then D. Okay, again from here. Down, up, down, down, up, and then G, D, and we move it to the next chord which is the G sustain so again from here down up down down up G D and the pattern here is still the same down up down down up okay and then here the G major chord down up down down up okay this is a simplified plucking guys so from here and then here go back uh, to this chord I'm going to play that chord set two times for the entire intro so again guys at the top down up down down up down up down down up and then g d n down up down down up and down Again here, second time around. Down, up, down, down, up. G sustain and G. This is a G sustain, guys. Which, but others call this G suspended or C G over. Or sorry, C over G. Okay, here we position our index finger here at the first fret of the second string and. Then, going to have a G formation here okay now for verse guys still have the same chord set from the intro Now to ref 
refrain so for refrain guys we're going to use an e flat diminished seven this one okay if you know a d7 formation okay and then put uh, just put your index finger here at the e flat base first fret of the uh, fourth string and then here at the second fret of the third string and here at the first fret of the second string using your middle finger and then lastly position your pinky finger here at the second fret of the first string and don't include the other two strings okay the base of e flat diminished seven is this one next guys is a d sustain this one this this is this is a d formation chord but wanna put your pinky finger here at the third fret of the third fret of the first string okay then after that we're going to use a d7 okay okay this one first fret uh second fret of the first string first fret of the second string and third third string second fret and its base is it's of course d D base okay and from there d7 we'll go back to e flat diminished seven and then next is an e major seven chord which is this one okay position your your fingers your pinky and your ring finger here at the second first and second string third fret and then your index here at the second fret of the fourth string okay and you can strum it all the way down from here next guys what is what we call the g7 over d okay just this one note over here the first fret of the first string and its base is a d uh, string okay and go to c and g and c again and g so i'm going to show you the refrain guys that riff okay so from G and then we're going to have this and proceed to C chord again okay so the tricky part here for refrain guys is the transition of course so Take note of the transition. So from E diminish seven, then D sustain, and then D seven and E flat minor seven and okay E major seven, then G over D and C. Okay. So the plucking pattern for that, guys, for beginners, you can just uh, focus on this simplified plucking down up down down up, okay because we'll focus first on the chords formation so again guys for we'll refrain slowly After the second verse guys we move it again to the refrain and then we go now to chorus so i'll show you first the chorus guys by the way guys if you think that this tutorial is helpful please support my channel by liking this video and comment down your song requests and don't forget to subscribe and uh, click on the notification bell below because every day i am going to upload a new tutorial so for first chorus guys this is the chord set for this the first chorus okay because we're going to have a different chord set at the last portion of the second chorus so okay and a minor 
7 D D over C and G over B all the C That's for the first chorus because for the last chorus, guys, we're going to have this. So for chorus again we use an D7, an E flat diminished 7, an E major 7 simplified version, a G7 over D, a C, and then this time we're going to have an A major 7. Okay, this is just like a C chord, but uh, exclude the uh, ring finger and the base of A major 7 is of course the A, and you can strum it all the way down. Next is an ordinary D major chord, and then this next chord, guys, is what we call a D over C. Okay, this one. Okay, we're going to have a D chord, but with a, with a C base. Okay, so you position your hands like this. So first uh, is here at the first string, second fret, and then here at the third fret of the second string, and then a C note. Here at the th uh, third fret with sec uh, fifth string. Okay. Next, guys, is what we call the G over B. Okay. So position your uh, ring and in uh, ring and uh, pinky finger here at the first and second string, third fret, and then, then a B bass here at the second fret of the fifth string. Okay. So from D, D over C. And then G over B. Okay, and then we go now to C. And then this one over here is a B7 suspended four. Okay. So starting here at the second fret of the fifth string, first fret of the first string, and then second fret of the third string. And you can strum it all the way down from this B base over here at the sec fifth uh, fret. Sorry, fifth string. Okay, so for the last chorus, guys, I'm going to teach you also the G major 7 over B, which is this one. Okay, so if we had, if we have a G over B, which is this one, the G major 7 over B is just you, you move it down this pinky finger note here at the second fret of the first string. This one, this formation, and you can strum this like this okay G over B and a G major 7 over B and lastly uh, this one over here this is a C over D chord guys the second to the last chord C over D because this is from a C chord but instead of having a C bass we're going to have a D bass so the D so the, the C over D starts here at the D base and then uh, only one note here at the first fret of the second string and lastly is the G so again guys the tricky part here is the transition of course so take note of the transition so I'm going to play the first chorus The second chorus guys okay this one
one old okay so the g major over seven over g major seven over b is the is played in the old okay in so again guys for the last chorus So we're going to have a play through the entire song guys, we'll play it slowly, okay, after you have mastered uh, the chorus formation and the uh, simplified blocking, you can follow along, okay, so we start the intro, G major 7, G7 sustain 4, G over C or G sustain, G, okay, and again, Then we go now to uh, chorus. D over C is one, and G over B prolong. And back to verse. position and arms like this And that's it guys for the course of this song and I hope you like the tutorial. Thank you!